What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm really excited because this is the first time me doing this for my channel. And this is gonna be my first thrift store haul. Let's get right into this. So you guys have seen in the past, I've been to flea markets, yard sales, Facebook marketplace, finding things on Kijiji, not only for my own personal collections, but recently I've been diving into finding more things to flip for profit, just to make some extra cash on the side. And I've been finding some really great things and I've shared those in previous videos where I found McFarlane figures, Xbox One games, and a whole bunch more. So I decided to finally go and dive into thrifting, going into thrift stores and just seeing what I can find. Now recently I went into some thrift stores, about six in total that are near me. And some of them I went in on my own by myself. Some of them me and my girlfriend went in with, but I found out right away which ones I will be returning to in the future because I found some really great stuff, which I'm gonna be sharing in this video, but also which ones I plan on not returning to because either they were not that clean, not that great of stuff inside, or there was not too much hard goods and mostly all clothes. So out of the six that I went to, there is, I think, three that I plan on returning to in the future that I felt were having great deals. Some of them I got bought a few things from, some of them I did not. So now what I picked up at these thrift stores, now the first one is where we picked up most of this stuff. The first item I seen whenever I first walked in was this Ottawa Senators bobblehead. Now this is from the Ottawa Senators store. You can also order it, I believe, on the NHL shop, but it's not sold at retail stores like Walmart, for example. So this one I was pretty excited for because I know they average at about 20 to $25 when you're buying them brand new. So this one here, they wanted only $5 for it. So that got me really excited right off the bat. Now I imagine if I do want to sell it in the future, I've seen these bobbleheads going for about $10 to $15. I only paid five for it. But since I'm a huge fan of the Ottawa Senators, I love getting figures and bobbleheads. This one's going in my personal collection. Now it is a little beat up the box around the edges. So I decided right there in the store to open it up and see how the figure looks because I didn't want anything that was damaged. And upon opening it up and taking it out of the styrofoam inserts, it's brand new, still in the bag, it's never been opened. So that was awesome to find that, the first item we found. Now this is going to be remaining in my personal collection because I collect things like this, but to find it for $5 when it's brand new, it's never been opened is pretty awesome. Now I plan on taking it out of the box, mainly because the box is a little beat up and the figure, the bobblehead is brand new. So it's gonna look nice just sitting on a shelf. So I don't really need to keep the box since it's really beat up. I don't want to keep it inside here because there's no screen to show it off like my other bobbleheads where I kept them in the box. So this for the first item I thought was pretty awesome. After that we went down some of the aisles and it was a lot more of glassware. We did find a few things that I thought it would be awesome to pick up. But I decided not to just because they weren't going to be anything I'd be able to sell for profit. Just a couple bucks to spend just to add it to basically a shelf and I decided not to get them for myself. After this, we decided to go over to the CDs and they had a ton of CDs. This thrift store only sold them for $2 each. So I thought that was pretty cool, but I didn't want to go and scan on eBay for seeing what there is that I can flip. I decided not to do that, but I did look briefly and I did find two for myself that I'm going to be keeping in my personal collection. Up first is the Men in Black soundtrack. Now this, I'm a huge fan of Men in Black. I have the complete movie collection, so this was really awesome to find. And for only $2, for some reason, it just caught my eye and I knew I had to get it. That was awesome to get. And the next one, the last CD, was the first Spider-Man soundtrack CD. So I was really excited for this because you guys know I love Spider-Man. I love anything superheroes, I love Marvel. So to find this for only $2 again was pretty awesome. So both of these, $2 each, now I did plan on scanning these for eBay. I know I'm gonna be keeping these for my own personal collection, but I did scan them. And they sell for about $6 on eBay each, plus shipping. So there's about $4 each profit sitting right here. 
but they're not really something that I think I'll be able to sell really quick. And for only $4 profits, especially when they're things that I like, I think for now, I'm just going to keep them in my personal collection and not sell them or even list them on eBay. Now, after this, we did look through a couple more things and there was things that I was thinking about getting, but I decided last minute not to. From there, we went over to the books, which I know books on Amazon sell rapidly. So I decided to look through the books and there's one item, one book that I decided not to get. And if we do go back to this thrift store, if it's still there, I plan on getting it in the future. But it was a WWF Attitude Era cookbook, which I thought was awesome because it had all the top wrestlers, their favorite recipes in this hardcover book. Now I did scan it and I think it sold for about under $10 on eBay. For hardcover books at this thrift store, they only wanted $3 for it. But I decided last minute not to because I didn't really know if it would sell. But for me, I wouldn't mind keeping that for myself and eventually selling it if I did list it on eBay. It would be awesome just to keep in my collection for now. But I did pick up two other hardcover books that I think might be awesome either in my collection for now or I might be able to flip them in the future. The first one here is a Don Cherry's Hockey Stories and Stuff book. This one here, because it's a hardcover, again, was only $3 at this thrift store. And I did scan this one, and I was going to leave this one behind. I decided last minute to pick it up, because this one would look good on one of my hockey shelves, because I do collect hockey stuff. This one here, it sells for about 6 or $7 on eBay plus shipping. I only paid $3 for it, so it's not a lot of room for profits. But who knows, Don Cherry, now that he's not for this past year or more, been associated with the NHL who knows this book might go up in the future in value or I might be able to list it in the future or sell it in a different lot or outside of eBay possibly but for this one I decided I might for now just keep it in my own personal collection because it's a pretty awesome cool book and it's awesome to put in my hockey shelf so that one's more for me for right now until I decide to sell it if it does go up in value but the other hardcover book is something I'll be able to get value out of right away. And I believe I'm going to list it later on this week. And that is another hockey book, the best, worst, and biggest, biggest trades in NHL history. So this one here I did scan and I was really excited because there was only one that sold on eBay and it sold for $25. There's one that was on auction on eBay right now and it's up to $45. So this one here, all hardcover books, like I said, are $3. So I paid $3 for it. Hopefully I will list it on eBay. I'm going to hopefully, I don't know if I'm going to put it on auction or buy it now, but I will decide. But this book, there's definitely room for profit to be made. So that was one that really excited me. And until it sells, it's going to look nice on my hockey collection shelf. So after leaving this thrift store, a couple days later, I decided to go to a couple other thrift stores by myself. And unfortunately, they were not that great. They were kind of run down. They were, didn't really have that great of stuff. No hard stuff. Really, really terrible thrift stores. So I know those ones I'm definitely not going to go back to in the future. But near the area, a couple days after that... We went to a value village and that's where we found this stuff. So the first thing I found was a cable for myself as a backup for the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. It's basically just to connect the PlayStation 1 or 2 to the TV with these cables here. And they only wanted $3 for it, $2.99. So I decided why not because I was going to get a backup one on eBay for myself. But I've seen on eBay, they're about $5 to $10 plus shipping usually. So to find one in a thrift store, I decided to take a risk on it because I didn't know if it works. So I decided why not get it and check it out and it works. So it's going to be a nice backup for my systems. And the last item I got at this thrift store, and it's the last item for this video that I'm sharing because this is all that I bought, is this hardcover book for Transformers. Now how Value Village works with their hardcover books they go by the listed price on the back. So it's $12.99 Canadian, which means this hardcover book should have cost me $6. However, they had it in the children's book section and the children's books are only $1.50. So this book here, it only cost me $1.50. I thought, why not? Even if it sits on my shelf for a long time or it sits in my closet for a long time until I list it and sell it. It was only $1.50. I only spent $1.50 on this book. So I thought, why not just pick it up? I scanned it for eBay 
and it's listed there's multiple listings that are anywhere from 40 to 50 dollars so in my opinion there is room for profit to be made even if i sell this for 10 dollars plus shipping that is still really great profit for something i paid a dollar 54 so this book to me is definitely worth it this one here is definitely a lot of profits but i think the most profitable item that i bought to resell is going to be this book here because it sells for anywhere from 25 to 45 dollars i might end up putting it on auction i'm not 100 percent sure but we will see so as of right now this is everything that i picked up from those thrift stores now after leaving the last value village where i got my last items here we did go to another value village which is in kind of a high-end neighborhood i didn't really find much to get to resell but I did find a few things that I was going to get for my own collection. They were picture frames for the Ottawa Senators and a canvas art for the Ottawa Senators along with a couple knickknacks. But they, in my opinion, wanted a little bit too much for it. But the fact that they had some really top end great stuff, I thought would be awesome. If, they, if I go back in the future and they have more stuff that I could flip for profits, I definitely will be getting them. But there's also coupons with Value Village that we signed up for. So the next time we'll go to a Value Village is whenever we get those discount coupons. And then we'll be able to get some more items. Because Value Village is a little bit more pricey than other thrift stores in the area. Because they basically do it based on what the retail value is for the item. They just lower it a little bit less. Ironically, I did find this book for $1.50. But... I think somebody messed up and they put it in the kids' books when it should have been in the hardcover books because it is a hardcover book. So I'm really excited. This is my first thrift store video. I plan on going back to more in the future. Like I said, the three that are closest to us, the three that we got some great stuff out of and we actually enjoyed looking through and seeing what they had are probably the only three in that area that we're going to go to. But if there's some, if we're traveling, we're outside the area, we want to check out, I might show those in the future. And if we go back... In the future, after COVID-19, I'm hoping that we can do some recording inside and get some footage that way. I think that would be awesome to see. But I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.